Hi, I'm John Moulton, Northwoods Whitetails. Come on into the Shed Shack. This is, uh, this is my space here. I, I built this place basically um, to house antlers and mounts and stuff. Uh, my wife was sick of them in the house. Uh, so um, we got a place in Maine. I work mostly in New Hampshire, so I built this. And so um, these are sheds over here with a, with a bear, but these two bucks right here are, are both my 2021 bucks. Um, this big eight pointer is a New Hampshire deer that I shot uh, the last day of muzzleloader season. Um, he dressed 215. Um, he grosses 142 inches, nets high 130s. Um, I shot him in a piece of woods with a buddy of mine and it was a real good hunt. Uh, we had a blast. It was, it was great having a friend there that would go get a jet sled and, and help me get it out. Um, and then uh, two weeks later, I shot this buck here in Maine, in Western Maine. Uh, Thanksgiving week and uh, he dressed uh, 202.7 uh, that was my first main 200 pounder um, it was cold crunchy conditions hardly any snow um, I was working around some cuts and rattled twice within an hour um, and then got up to move and and caught movement down below me and he was coming up through a strip cut and ended up uh, shooting him a little over 100 yards and the rest was history. So those were two weeks apart. It was a good year. Um, I think it was my best year in a long time. So if you want to go downstairs and, and see what's down there, it's pretty full. So we'll go check it out. Come on in, let's look at some mounts and some antlers. Like I said, I pretty much built this place to house what I've got here. Um, it's kind of a big part of my life, something I've been doing for um, 40 years now, looking for sheds and, and hunting just as much. So it's, uh, it's hard to part with this stuff, but we've got, uh, we've got some deer here everywhere and on the back wall up here, um, top left, that's my heaviest buck I've ever shot. That was a 232 pound buck, New Hampshire, central New Hampshire in 1999. And uh, wouldn't you know what, he's got like a 105 inch rack on him, but that's wave some big heavy deer are. Um, next to it, the full sneak, that's a Saskatchewan deer big heavy nine-pointer. Um, that place grows some brutes. Had been up there six or seven times and it was it was a blast. Uh, next to that, in the middle of that ten-pointer is a New Hampshire muzzleloader buck. Uh, he, he was 180 pounds even. Uh, but he's got a record book rack, made the New Hampshire Skull and Antler Club. Um, next to that is another Saskatchewan deer. Uh, big heavy deer. That, that thing I think had the biggest body uh, up in Canada that I've taken. Um, that's an old main buck right beside it that got passed down to me when I was a kid and it was going to get thrown out and I just couldn't do it. But that was a buck taken in uh, the Allagash area back in the 20s um, and I saved it from a dumpster. I wish I would have taken it. It's 152 inch 10 pointer with some stickers on it. Um, the moose up there is a Maine moose. Uh, I was picked in 2009. Um, that dressed 898 opening day. I shot it with an old Thompson Center muzzleloader 50 caliber. Uh, that made the main book so I was proud of that. Uh, we spent uh, eight and a half, nine hours with a chainsaw winch after taking that, getting it the uh, rest of the way out. So we, my buddy and I earned that one. Uh, really means a lot. He passed away this last year. 
Um, he was with me with probably, it's probably eight or 10 bucks in this room that he was with me when I took him. So over here on this wall, these are, these are all New Hampshire deer. I believe that one was 1991. That's going back a ways, that eight pointer with a 20 inch spread. Uh, that dress 208, I shot him on opening day. Um, I've had some good luck on opening day, so this, this three 200 pounders in here take on opening day. So, uh, above it, that's another big heavy New Hampshire buck. That buck was 230. And um, my buddy Randy was with me, who had passed away. Um, that was in 1994. Um, this nine pointer at the bottom, um, I took in 2005 or six, I'm not sure, but I only had about an hour left, uh, of light, got home from work and wasn't far from my house. And I rattled that buck in and I shot him at 15 yards. He caught me with the antlers still in my hands. Uh, on the second rack rattle and sequence. So he kind of got me by surprise. He didn't come in where I thought he was gonna come in. Um, but that was a blast. I actually shot him, went back home, got my boys and my little girl at the time that was only three or four and, and went and dragged that buck out. So uh, it was a good time. It was a, a family event. Um, and. Uh, I've got various racks here. There's a lot that I haven't mounted. Uh, but on this uh, ply plywood wall here, this buck here is actually the first buck I ever took when I was 15 years old. And uh, my dad was like, oh, you're not mounting that. They're too expensive to mount at the time. So I got a cape about eight or 10 years ago off a smaller deer and I ended up mounting that, but it's not the same, but it's still, it was my first deer when I was 15. That was a 205 pound buck uh, at the end of the season. It was the last week of the season. And my dad had, uh, had set me in a spot and he had tracked a buck through there and he'd crossed in this spot in the saddle. And he sat me there and I was froze to death for about two hours and a six pointer and a doe come up through and I shot twice, um, didn't get the six pointer and then about two minutes later that, that big eight pointer come up and I shot him and he dropped right there with the old 30-30 so um, I don't know, everyone said I was lucky but uh, I got him, yeah, it meant a lot thinking back you know. A lot of racks there. There's like 30 some odd racks here that I haven't mounted that are hanging. There's a lot of Maine, New Hampshire. There's even a couple of Saskatchewan bucks hanging in there. A um, bunch of various racks that I found shed hunting over the years are all on these shelves. Um, there's, some, there's some pretty cool ones, some big wide ones. Got a big wide six up here I found a couple of years ago and uh, ended up, let's see if I can break this. But it was a big wide six, found that a couple springs ago. And then we got this big palmated buck that we found dead. It's a pretty cool one. I wish I could have taken him, but. Like I said, I collect a lot of antlers here. There's just piles and piles of this stuff, but it's, it's fun to do. And this buck over here is actually a New Hampshire buck that um, my brother-in-law took. And uh, they didn't want the mount anymore and I, I couldn't see getting rid of it, but um, that was in a spot I've hunted since I was a kid. And, uh, he got that deer and he got so tired dragging it, he come out and got me and I went back in and drug this out. This was, uh, I think the second week of the season in uh, 94, and that was a 189 pound buck. Um, and then there's a couple of Midwest bucks above that. Um, there's some big deer, but 
they don't mean as much to me as the New Hampshire and Maine deer do. Um, there's nothing like getting them at home in the big woods and hunting in the mountains. And um, this is uh, just what we like to do.